Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we will start doing exercises using the Surface Workbench in SOLIDWORKS. So we have the simple exercise, exercise number one on the left side. And I'll go to the file new and double click on the part. And in here, if you don't have the surface option, you need to right click and make sure that you check the surface option over here so that we have the whole tools that's related to surfaces. So let's begin. Let's go to the sketch, click on the sketch and select one of the planes that we can start the sketch with. So in this case, what I would do is create this profile and then do the extrude. So we'll go to the right and then we'll go for creating a sketch. So as we create the sketch, we'll just use, we'll just go like this. I'll use an axis, draw an axis upwards, select these lines. And go for mirror entities and go for mirror about and select this axis here click on tick mark and use a line here and just to join this line and again select the line tool and join this line here now let's start dimensioning it that'll be 30 and 15 and 15 that'll be 30 and 15 here and the overall length will be 100 and the height will be 45 so that's 45 and this height will be 20 so that's 20 and to this select this point and this line here and go for midpoint click on tick mark we have the sketch fully constrained and it has uh, turned its color to black. Let's exit the sketch and now we can go for surfaces and select the extrude surface. Now we need to extrude it 20 on both sides. So that will be 20 on both sides here, direction 1 and direction 2. Alright, now we have that. Now we need to use a fill command and fill this both of the surfaces. So what we can do is use a fill surface, click and select the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as we complete that, you can click on the tick mark and we have that surface being created on the other side. So this is different from the solid models. Whereas in the solid models, you have a completely filled uh, solids that are created. In this case, whatever we draw, the wireframes we draw, we develop from the wireframe. So in this case, as we go, go forward, we will be able to realize that we have a lot of flexibility when we have, when we create uh, objects using uh, wireframes so let's do the same thing on the other side and also we also have uh, one more option that is to use the offset surface so we know the th total length of this is 40 so just select this face here and go for uh, offset surface 
and give 45 right now 40 just give 40 you can see that another surface has been created over here that's it if at all it came on the other side you could have just clicked over here so you'll be able to see that that's it so this is a simple exercise and uh, apart of it, when we see the final object we'll be able to see that it's looking almost the same thing but when we try to see the inside of this that's this will be completely hollow so as we move forward we'll be able to realize that the surface modeling has a lot of flexibility over solid modeling thank you so much and stay tuned thank you for watching if you have any doubts on this video, put them on the comment section and I'll try to respond to them as early as I can. If you think my videos are helpful, hit the like, subscribe and share button. If you're interested to get How Engineers Do It t-shirt, you can get it by contacting me. I've put an image of it on the next slide. Here's the t-shirt. If you've got any CAD related requirements, don't hesitate to contact me anytime. I'm always looking forward to work with you. You can personally get in touch with me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you for your time and stay tuned.